What's up guys, it's Cardi. Today we are here to talk about shooting for magazines. Did you know that there are rules for shooting for magazines? It's an unwritten thing. Rarely are you gonna ever be able to find any information about what you need to do in order to shoot for magazines. Today we're gonna get into it. Stay tuned. Whatever type of photography work you do, if your goal is to be published in a magazine, then you need to follow what I call editorial magazine rules. These rules involve vertical and horizontal composition, as well as non-distracting but complementary backgrounds, and obviously truly making your subject the star. Editorial photography, I believe, is the art of promotion. Simplistic, easy to digest, with all the focus on your subject. Let's go over some covers and talk about how almost all magazines apply editorial rules to the photography that they choose to use. The photographers that they choose to work with understand these editorial rules and they're willing to push the boundaries as to what can happen within a horizontal or a vertical frame. Following what I call editorial rules, these editorial shooters are the ones that get hired. No matter what you shoot, you should have this one thing in mind. Every vertical picture that you shoot is a potential cover and Every horizontal picture you shoot has the potential to be a double page spread in a magazine, if you know how to compose. Make your horizontals special. Make your verticals special. Think about not biasing your subject dead center when you're shooting a horizontal image. Every horizontal image is a double page spread. It's the coveted double page spread. It's the most amount of retail you can get within a magazine. So what happens if you drop your subject right in the center of the frame on a horizontal spread? Well, every magazine is a left page and a right page and there's a gutter. That gutter dips down. If you put your critical information in the center of the frame, your photo editor, your art director, the magazine designer has no place to put that photograph except for on one half of one page, either on the left half or the right half, top or bottom, with the text on the other. If you're shooting with a double page spread in mind, knowing that the center is gonna be the gutter, you're gonna put your importance, like the face, on the left frame or the right frame and bias your composition so your eye moves through the picture to your subject. This approach will lead you to getting magazine work as well as advertising work if you do it right. The shooters that get hired the most have a great understanding of space. They have a great understanding of space within their photography and they use this negative space as a contrast to their subject matter. When shooting your subjects, whether they're people, places, or things, try to use scale. Try to use non-distracting backgrounds, monochromatic backgrounds, a monochromatic location. Or if you're in the studio, maybe white, black, or gray seamless paper, or maybe a bold color if that color is in contrast to what your subject's wearing. What our goal is, is to make the subject a star and make the subject rip off the page. There are definitive rules for shooting for magazines. There are photographers that use these rules alongside their visual signature, their style, in order to make their work look like they shoot for magazines already. So even if you're a new photographer, there's a way to shoot for magazines. The idea is to understand editorial formatting, understand space, understand headroom, understand that you can't put your edge so close to that garment because when a magazine cuts full bleed, you lose roughly a quarter of an inch all the way around the page. So if you have something that's claustrophobically close to the edge of your frame, you could lose it when you go to print. Matter of fact, if you're making photographic prints that go full bleed, you could lose those edges. So you have to give your photographs space. The photographers that you admire 
They have a technical ability. They have a visual signature. And most importantly, they understand editorial rules. When we get hired to shoot for a magazine, most of the time, the photograph that we're gonna create involves some sort of type on top of our photograph. So the more we understand negative space and the more we understand room and giving our images room, our subjects room to breathe, the better that our photographs will work with text and the more often we'll get hired to work for magazines. I hope you find this video on editorial rules helpful. I'm trying to make more short form videos like this on things that every soon to be pro photographer should know. Um, if you like this type of content, please drop it a like. Please consider dropping me a subscribe. It's free. You can drop the bell icon and get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're interested in photography in general and want to be a part of these conversations, want to have your photography reviewed, your website reviewed, if you want to have me look at your work and talk to you about how to level up your work, please tune into one of my live shows. Ask a Photo Pro Tuesday and Thursday at 2 p.m. I do Behind the Picture Sundays at 2 p.m., all of them Eastern Time, all of them on twitch.tv slash Steve Cardi. Don't forget, keep shooting. Thanks for watching, guys.